Oh, are we back yet? <sighs> oh my god, we were disconnected long enough that the stream started over. Uh, I apologize to those of you in post. Alright, are we all good now? Bad's all gone through. I apologize for that. I really have no idea what happened. I'm in the middle of trying to plan where we're gonna go for the rest of the night. <laughs> Ooga booga. <laughs> oh crap, the chat is still busted. Hold on. Uh, Chat overlay. Hold on. I refreshed the wrong thing. Okay, that should fix that. I can't, I need to figure out a way so I can hear sound effects while I'm playing. Only everyone else can hear most of them. Alright, so basically, what all I was saying uh, before the stream cut out is that without any additional grinding, the only chapters I think we can probably approach is one, is both of Throne Age Chapter 3's and uh, uh, Cassie's Chapter 3. So. Do we want to do Casty tonight? Do we want to do a Throne Devil feature, or do we want to, uh, uh do we want to do a th or and do we want to do Casty tonight and do a Throne Devil feature next stream, or do we want to split that up? Personally, I'm more in the in the ballpark of splitting it up and doing a Throne chapter today, mostly just because we just did Casty's uh, uh, other chapter two last stream, and I don't know if I want to do. I want to try and break it up a little bit more. Personally, but. And if we do agree on split, then should we lead with the mother or the father first? Part of me is like, I'm the type of person when I eat my food, I like to save the best thing for last. Is it better to save father for next time or do father tonight to end on a bigger climactic note? That's the thing. So, but we'll, we'll, I want to kind of get a consensus. So it's like, what what's everybody feeling about it? Do we do we end do we end with a good note tonight, or do we just save it for next time? Because I'm I'm good either way. I the people who are gonna going to want to see it the most are here currently, so it's really up to preference. And the streams are already split apart, so. We can also we could do just Casty tonight as well, I guess. But like I say, I kind of feel like I might want to save Casty for next time because we got Casty chapters last time. That'll probably mean I'll, it'll next stream for sure will be just the other two chapters. And if I haven't done enough grinding in between this stream and the next one, it'll probably have to be exploring to get more levels. But before I do anything, uh, let me... I'm going to come over here real quick. With Thorn and Casty in the party right now, we can go ahead and uh, uh, while, while everyone kind of mentally decides, uh, oh right, this part of the island is, is a, a overworld thing. 
forgot all about that. Sora has perished, so I was just trying to figure out what Sora's thinking. Don't mind if I do. My turn. Save father for later. Okay. Let's see. Uh Staff at the fire. Come on, then. Yo, defense drop. I'm gonna act this battle. <laughs> Oh, it cut out. Must have a few ones cut out. Yes, I have all the job licenses, and I've been to all the first altars for the skills. My turn. Fly, arrow, fortune. Here we go. The hat looks so good on everyone, it sure does. SP restore is so good on third. I forgot. I, I need to remember I can just do that instead of using items to get her SP back. God, seizure warning on that move. Maybe I should have tried to catch it. I don't know if it would have been worth it. Let's have to look around. Let's do some exploring. Alright, I've been here before. This is nothing new. Let the experiment begin. What to do? It didn't give me the option to do it. Lie down. I don't like how she's so floating out there in the ocean. He was hollowed out. It just says once per battle, but I didn't get an option for it.
Double bite, okay. Yeah, it's, see, he's not... Okay, so I'm not sure how I'd summon him. Full boost makes sense. Okay. She needs a new axe. I kind of figured he was full boost. Thinking tough. Let's give it a shot. Let's see. Oh! Jeez! Ocha needs three more experience to level up. Yeah, she like freaking Cassie's been rocking axe that freaking poison axe for way too long. I mean, it's been good, but it's holy! Oh my god! All right, take that, take that. He just died to the stomp. Hello, item box. Dual Leaf. Lighthouse Island. I can't dis- I can't disembark at the prison? Alright, hello. We need a plan. Don't mind if I do. That move doesn't seem like it's very useful early game, or after early game, I mean. Huh? You're blind and you still hit me? Okay, I'm gonna try something here. That was nothing! <laughs> Only 20?! Two damage. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Ooh. That oh, that's really good. All right. 
Okay, I think Salamander has outlived his usefulness. He's done, he's done some good, but I think we're gonna get rid of him for now. Mm. Now he's cooked. I'm Having an AoE dark spell is probably gonna be more important later. And, and yes, I forget, invalidated by Terra. H EXP augmenter. Ooh, okay. Uh, Shuck that on. That's going to help making the grinding a little easier. Alright, let's see what's here. Lighthouse Island. Is there no enemies here? Cause there's no, there was no danger warning. Oh, hello, lady. Octopus pot. Ooh, another one. If you have multiple octopuff pots, pots equipped. Does it increase the chance of finding them more? Oh, well. I don't keep it. I can't bottle on the shore of the day. I found a letter inside. It said for Ruby and Timberan. On the outside of the bottle. Four shades, though. My husband and I can't leave the other to deliver it. If it's not too much trouble, could you see the gift to Ruby? Sure. Oh, thank you. I'll leave this in your hands. Safe travels to t Timberan. So begins the tale of the washed up letter. Woman who moved to the island lighthouse to support her husband after he decided to become a lighthouse keeper. D despite their relative isolation, she does a remarkable job finding ways to be self-sufficient. Why would you even? I like sleeping with the cool on, like a fan. I'll take that. Do it, kill her, <laughs> bro. How's for someone who didn't actually commit a murder, he's got a lot of murderous tendencies. Yo! That's a lot of money. What do you think of Lighthouse? Pretty bright, eh? It's a new reflection just as all. Genuine al alamorite, that is. You bet I laid, I laid in a spare, too. Never heard when these things might break. I only lighthouse keeper. After a marine disaster that left him adrift in sea for days, a lighthouse beam brought him safely home. He recovered, he... He resolved to become a lighthouse keeper himself and is now a key figure in shipping infrastructure between the east and west continents. Give the bro a day off. Cannot steal, bro. What? Squall of arrows. Okay. Cannot mug. We can't take that. Whatever it is, we just can't have it. He has no empathy left, which is based. <laughs> I can't take her anywhere, though. I'm guessing it's the, it's the husband I can lead, unless there's someone else that lives here. Oh, God! Sure did install something great. It's got, he installed a fantastically lit lens flare. Before I go down to dig it. Huh? You mean that thing that mom needs for the Cheez Its? Yes. I haven't seen it. She showed it to me, but I haven't seen it. Wait, where did she show it to you at? In in the house, I think. But where? Like what room? Do you remember? Probably the, the I want to say the living room or the kitchen. If you're going down to the barn, can you? I'm going down to the trash can. Oh, never mind. Then I. Just 
Is there a mystery being solved? They're trying to find something that my mom bought and has misplaced. Did I get that? Yeah, I did get that treasure chest. Okay, so... There's nothing really here other than just, um... Starting a quest I'm, and maybe getting him. It feels like taking him away from the lighthouse feels like a... Lore-wise counter to the case of the lost sheep. No, 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 my... Okay, so what me... My mom wants to do... My mom wants to try making... Because I showed her this video from TikTok. The people making their own homemade Cheez-Its. So my mom bought this cutter so that she could... As, as part of the tool, she needs to make homemade Cheez-Its. They're trying to find the tool that we need for for the dough preparation. Gold nugget. Marlin. Um, I don't really have any ways to attack you. Holy! I mean, I guess. Uh, let's see how this works. Oh, wait! Uh, so, oh, so poison-based moves can strike a weakness now. Oh, that's what that means! I had no idea that's what it meant. I kind of thought it meant, oh, you're now vulnerable to being getting to get poisoned, like as a as a chance thing. No, it's just it adds it as a weakness slot. I didn't. I had no idea. I need freaking. <laughs> we need a plan. Indulge me, bro. Okay, so let's see how this works. Poison slash. So is that going to uh When the poison hits, is he going to lose a, 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 a thing? Thank you. It does! Oh, that's so good! Okay, I just showed it off. That actually makes that so good. I I wish I had it before. Let's see. What does he do? Mass sl Okay, so it's a powerful axe move. So I'm not going to worry too much. Uh, okay, hold on. Come on. Let's go. Nice to know, though. Ah, oh, he doesn't have any BP though. Strike through, lightning. Well. Dead. My journey will not end. Dang, I might have to get that poison thing on somebody else. That, that, that could be a useful thing. Like, with Hikari having that... Like, if I ran two different apothecaries, or at least character two different characters that could cause poison, that that's actually just really good. Uh, anyone else? They, they did not have their last one. I like the fact that Alifan's Wisdom can give any character with magic a triple shot thing, but at the same time it just... 
does that mean that there is no, like, super ultra rare job that does these things now? Because I feel like certain things like wind, wind spells are still kind of a rarity, and I can't seem to get a good, good amount of them. It's over here. An item. Is that Particio's town town? Oh, I don't know what it is. I haven't been there before. There's nowhere to dock either. Guess we're just over here uh, exploring the high seas. Platinum shield, nice. Time to clean up the spill. What to do? Uh, where does it say that? Yeah, it doesn't actually show that over there. You're right. That's a good point. Poison slash. What to do? Things that will lose plus thirty percent. That's okay. Also, Throne and, and Casty are basically at level for their chapters now. Thirty percent more damage just for hitting a weak thing is pretty good. Box. Donate BP, my blow. Bro, I slept on that that move so much in the first game. I did not know. Dude, that animation is so sick. I love it. Uh, 
this turn. Here I go. I love Casty's dancing outfit, by the way. Ouch! Ouch. That's a lot of experience, too. Leveling up at sea. I'm not even intending to grind. I'm just exploring. That's all. Is this an island I can explore? No, it's just an island. Ooh, item. And a tower that's been destroyed. I... Oh, wait, I say I wish I could explore that. I forget. I have. The Lair of the, Usurp the, the Usurper. Whoa! Oh, I don't like it. Get it out of here. Meantime. Here. Not dead yet. Well. Oh, he dodged it. All right, time to fish for weaknesses. Oh wait, fire. Nocturne of Nightmares? What does that even do? Oops, well. How dare you? Oh my god. Not like this. Where did I go wrong? This is not good. Is there an item that lets me flee a battle without any problems? Because I do not want to die here. I don't think there is. Machine cast boost riz. <laughs> Wait, what? 
Oh, boost res. That's what you're saying. That was actually not as useful as I was expecting. The dolphin is devious, bro. <laughs> Just in case. You won't lay a finger on me. All right. We need a boy. Calculations complete. Fire. Burn. Oh, God. I've seen worse methods. The game does not play. Alright. Let's get out of here. And let's go find Mother. That's, that's, that, I hadn't saved in a while, so I was afraid. Lesson learned. The strongest enemy in this game is the run button. Bro, I'm like, okay, I'll just leave. I thought, okay, I'm a higher level than him. I can get away. That's what my logic was. And then... It <laughs> okay, I had saved to the Lighthouse Island. I wouldn't have been that far back, but it would have been further back. You run, you die. Alright, so let's bring up... Let me pull up the mother guy real quick for Throne A. Start with Temenos. Right, so we'll start off with Temenos, Agnia. Okay, so let's see. So we need to start with Temenos and Agnia. So Temenos, Agnia, and then. Being out on the high seat really didn't make a difference. Alright. After So, here we go. The Mother's Route, Chapter 3. After learning of Mother's hidden uh, Mitre's hideout in Wellgrove, Throne infiltrates the town in hopes of getting one of the keys to her collar. No. <laughs> Mother's hidden. 
Mother's garden should be around here somewhere. Many snakes are raised there, but no one knows exactly where it is. I've never been there myself. I was raised by father, not mother. Now then. It's officially an orphanage and has the support of the local monastery. You could probably <laughs> All the fanfics, I'm sure, with the nun outfit. I suppose I'll need another change of clothes. Time to find myself a habit. Still a habit. Is that what it's called? Can I talk to you for a moment, Thorne? <laughs> When in disguises assist you, you must choose your words carefully. Oh, if you say so. No, no, instead of if you say so, you should say, I understand. Being polite is key. Are we practicing already? Yes, I would hate for your identity to be exposed during the act. Uh, I understand. You see, you must practice if you want your words to flow naturally. Now repeat after me. May the sacred flame guide you. May the sacred flame guide you. No, no! That frown will give away, give you away immediately! You need to say it with confidence and a smile. Think warm, compassionate thoughts. May the... Louder, please! May the sacred flame burn you, bastard! <laughs> it seems more practice is in order! <laughs> okay. Hello. Oh, we're just gonna steal this girl's clothes? Gee, something. I'm on the way to do the laundry. Oh, okay. Random nun, the nun working at Covenant near Wellgrove. She claims there are other nuns working at an orphanage in the southern part of town. She doesn't know the details as they are not associated with her own covenant. Let's roll. They're just gonna steal them right off of her. Now to put these robes on. In the middle of the street? That child. I didn't I didn't even notice. Her footfalls. She's concealing her presence. You can barely hear her walk. She stole something. Impressive. She's no amateur, that's for sure. She may even be one of mothers. Not the sorry, not the fan the pick the fan art. Whoops. You look good no matter what you wear, Thorne. Thank you, but this have it is unfortunate to say the least. I don't know, I think it makes you look real elegant. I suppose, though it's too tight around the neck. And too loose everywhere else. Oh, I think if you change that up, it would look amazing. You've got a good eye for fashion, Thorne. Don't I? Alright, leave the tailoring to my papa. <laughs> I might just do that. Why is there... There's no freaking sound. Okay. Uh... Perticcio, Hikari, and Casti. Oh, the music's back all of a sudden. Oh, I just have to go to the dungeon. Okay, hang on. I should heal first. Oh, I didn't... Okay, never mind. Why did I think they were low health? The only one that wasn't full health was Particio. Whatever. It's pocket change at this point. It's literally just there as a... Whatever. <laughs> we, 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 we ride. Herb of Valor. 
ran. No. Dang, I can't do nothing here. Alright, well, just attack, I guess. All of a sudden, I don't have the coverage I need. Meantime. I'm just leaving. Of course! <laughs> Why would I be allowed to leave? Just leave, please. I don't want to deal with this, thank you. He clicked the suicide button. Moose! Or deer, I'm not sure which. Ugh. Good, something I can hit. My turn. There. Thinking time. True, but I don't have a capture on my on me right now. Let's try this. Nope, not weak to dark ice. My turn. Afraid of the dark. Oh, well, this is a fancy looking place, isn't it? What's that noise? We are definitely... Mother's Orphanage. This must be the place. Those are Mother's children. Okay. There are so many of them, yet it's deathly quiet in here. She's trained them well. Ugh. This ugly, unpleasant woman. on something very precious. Now tell me, which of you brought this home? It was me, Mother. Come here, Mira. That's the coat from earlier. This is a wolf diamond. One of the most precious stones in the realm. I want you all to learn from Mira's example. You made Mother proud. Oh God. Allow her to reward you. Oh God. With the mark of a true snake. Oh God. 
Oh god, she put the cl the freaking collar on her. A collar. It suits you, Throne. How was it seeing you put for the first time? You're now a proud little snake. Proud is not the word I would use. Which makes mm. me your Ugh. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. My mother died after giving birth to me. She is kind of like I will have none of your back talk. <sighs> if you want to live, you'll learn to bite your tongue. And listen to me. Yes, mother. Well, it's okay. We're just gonna stab her and take the key. It suits you, Mira. Ugh. What a pretty collar. I'll do whatever you ask, mother. What a good little girl you are. When the time comes, meet me in the Black Bell Tower. Yes, mother. Morazon, I leave it to you to open the door. But of course, mother. <sighs> to unlock this collar, I'll need mother's key. And I shall take it, along with her life. Well, if she's hiding in the background. I must find a way to get to her. Hmm. Made up my mind. One day I'm gonna buy this garden. And do what with it exactly? Eh, <laughs> well. I wanna teach kids how to be merchants instead of thieves. I'm sure they'll be happier with sharing than stealing. And they can live with their heads held high. Just she was a garden. Not a bad idea. If I had someone like you around, perhaps I wouldn't be a thief today. Yeah, if I so much money, get away. Oh. Bro, they have their freaking reference notes. That's sad. That was very helpful. He's like, okay. So. Oh, okay. Shadow Sage Eye. Thank you. by mother. Whenever we fail, mother calls us to the other side of the door. What door? The one that's always locked. Morozov only unlocks it when mother calls us. I've been with 
much more times than I can count there. Oh. You'll learn to bear any pain in time. I'm a slow learner. They called me worthless. That must be why my real mother abandoned me. It's time. I have to go now. Bye, sister. Quite helpful. So mother is on the other side of the door. How convenient. And the man named Morazov holds the key. But not for long. Okay, remember what you have to say. <laughs> Place this is I killed the other day. I went to survivors just taking staying on with this good sign. Bro, what the Thank I didn't mean to hit that button. The pizza's off. <laughs> Complexion seems fine. You're not running a fever. You're not injured, are you? Everything all right? You're all, you're not injured. All right, everything's good on the outside. Now check your heart. Take a deep breath and relax. Breathe in. Now let it out slowly. Sorry about that. I can be a bit of a busy body. I don't mind. I was just wondering if real mothers care for their children this way. I never knew my real mother, so I don't know. I'm sitting you in. <laughs> I wish mother had been more like you, Casty. Sorry. Right. Forget it. Let's get going. All right. All right. So let's real quickly. I need Hikari, I believe. So let's see. Okay. So I just need Hikari, and then the last slot we can we can. Uh, we can switch up. Hmm. So let's see. What do we need? What role do we need filled? We could just take Casty again. Or Temenos. I'm not sure who would be more useful. Well, he kind of... Okay, so we just need someone... We just need someone who could dance. We'll take your chat. All I need for the for uh, the section is Sikani, but I'm like I don't I don't I don't really want to walk back all the way for uh, for um, uh, to swap him out. So we'll just keep him in the party. Can I travel down here? No, I have to walk, of course. Oh, 
Oh, what did that just do? Yo, what? I don't really have a way to hit them, though. We'll just attack. That did nothing. No. Strike them down. Oh. I've seen worse methods. Vengeful blade, that's true. Oh, you see, Kari's. Okay, so this organization raises children to be thieves. Why does such an atro atrocity go unpunished? Because of demand. A demand for those who can fulfill the wishes of others, even if it means stealing. As long as that demand exists, thieving will thrive. Children should not be made to spill blood. This must change. I wish for a world where children never even have to see blood. Sounds nice. If there were more people like you, I think the world would be slight a slightly better place. Boys are usually faster and stronger, so they're better at thieving. What's this? White wolf language. Hmm. This is a weapon only women have. I wonder what it could be. Oh no, don't teach them that. Well, no. I think what, one thing that makes Oswald a very interesting character is just the fact that you would think, being a former father, that he would care so much for, like, children and stuff like that, but he just, because he's been so jaded and hurt, e even that barely seems to phase him sometimes, and it's so sad, because it shows how deeply changed Oswald was. Okay, so this, the, all these rooms are kind of for fluff. There's nothing that goes on in any of them. Never was the same after the accident. No. Oh, enemies right away. <laughs> yeah. Ready. Thinking time. Burn bright, oh sacred flame. Bro, she dead. Not dead yet. Prepare yourself. Cleave through my foes. No. Burn bright, oh sacred flame. Professor. Time for a break. 
Oh, Jet's over there dead on the floor. Bro, how did she get one shot by that? Was she like low health? I didn't even realize it. This is a really pretty garden. It's a shame it's a sickening, disgusting place. <sighs> Fight. Thinking time. That explains that. I was so confused. What to do? Oh, they're dead! My turn. Don't mind if I do. My turn. Not this time. The areas and locales in this game are just so good. Out of my way. Here we go. Come on, then. Oh well, the big deal. Not as much experience as being out in the ocean, but the fights are much easier. Big treasure chest. Don't think I didn't see that little gap in the hedges. I need to buy new equipment. <laughs> Oh! 
Where's all my my freaking jerky at? <laughs> she has a unique anim uh uh Oh that rumble was in my ears Ah, uh, you don't need any of that. Lux Conjure, let's get him! Hello, big boys. We surprise him, though. What to do? Demon deer. Kidding. I mean, get the free health items, I guess, and check see if the skill is worth it at all. But right now, I'm using the skills... Like, I'm not using the skills for power, I'm using them for coverage. Which feels, right now, more helpful. Because I feel like they're... they're I don't know, like, I feel like I do more damage when I just do things myself. I'll do what I must. Bro, I'm sick of these, seeing these things. My turn. I don't need Lux Conjurer for this fight. It's just kind of. It wastes time. Now it begins. Clean through my foes. Triple level up. Oh, the manor. Here we are. Or the, the manor. The bell tower. Bro! Why is she... What's going on up there?
Alright, I'm gonna just try and run from this, because I just... I, Oh, I, I surprised him. I should be able to get away. Watch me fail somehow. Okay, we're good. What is going on up here? Imagine being taped to that and hearing the bell gong in your ears over and over. It's been a while, Mother Dearest. Oh, Throne. There you are. Wait, what? <laughs> so you knew that I was here. It's not every day we get a new sister. Which is why I asked Mira here to leave. Wait, today. what? It's the perfect place to dote upon my daughter without interruption, is it not? So that bell tolls when it's time for punishment. Your twisted ways haven't changed one bit. I never expected you to make it so far in the selection process. Why have you come? Don't tell me you missed Mother's Wing. Oh my god. Though I suppose you do know it sting better than anyone. Oh. There is no better way to control someone than through pain. I agree. I've come here to punish you. Ooh. And once you're dead, I'm going to leave the black snakes. You wretched worm. I know you, Throne. I abhor to see you children like you from the depths of my soul. I won't hope that. Ugh! She's as ugly as I expected. No. I don't know what they're weak to. Okay, that works. Oh god, her face! Calculations complete. 
Impart your wisdom and attack. The string is making move. It's true, true. This helps. I owe you. Thinking time. First four mighty flames. Broken. Ready? This turn. Prepare yourself. What is that? So get you sent. That was not as strong as I was hoping. Do the peak. <laughs> Help them, I storm. 
Bro, his her goon would just not die. Oh! Bro, what happened to him? See if I can get him strong enough. Here we go. Mahina. No. Crap, I needed to... Alright, well, let's use what I got. Calculations complete. My turn. Prepare yourself. Uh, I'll end this. Be shorn of strength. We need a plan. Pursuit of knowledge. <laughs> Calculations complete. Rise, fierce blizzard. <laughs> you truly are that wretched woman. Whoa, child. what? What are you talking about? Oh, Verona. Let me tell you a little secret. The woman who I once called Bob. Was your birth. She was a remarkable queen and deplorably strong. My mother was the leader of the snakes? You had no idea, did you? I suppose you wouldn't, since father swore me to secrecy. But I set her up and had her killed. Dang. And seized control of the Things have always been, and the battle between successors continues. I don't want to be anyone's successor. I just want to be free. Free, you say? Very well. Allow my wit to free you from your worldly bond. No. Oh. Prepare yourself. Ch 
choose your next move wisely. Think. Calculations complete. And park your wisdom out of hand. Ready? True friend. Now it begins. I'm waiting. I return your wrath twofold. Let me hear. Unverted. How dare you? You're too bad. We need a plan. No, Mom, you missed him. <laughs> Making me sweat on that one. I've seen worse methods. <laughs> Oswald over here just reminding everyone why he's the king. You the king? No, I'm the king. Freaking Alephans is just so good. It's so busted, and I love it. I like that you can put it on anybody, but it'd be nice if you could, if there was another person worth putting it on. Oh, that's I thought that was Throne for a second. So father killed mother then. Oh, she got the Bobby in her. Damn, did you freaking kill a pregnant woman? That's messed up. Right? I'll take good care of her for Well, and in turn, she took real good care of you, didn't she? <laughs> you wretched worm. I should have killed you then. Along with your contemptible mother. Makes 
no difference to me. Your mother's skills were great. And I knew it was only a matter of time until you inherited them. So why didn't you kill me? Because of father. He said if I killed you, he would kill me. That old bastard. He always Don't say. I'm done listening to you. Give me the key to my collar. <laughs> I don't take orders from dirty little harlots like you. If you want it so badly, you can pry it out of my cold, dead hands. Have it your way. There's no such thing as freedom, Throne. Once a snake, always a snake. Stop! Stop! I, I don't care how much she whipped me! Hey, for you! Do it anyway, Throne. Hate me all you like. Mother! <gasps> Mother! You... My name is Throne. Remember it well. If you want revenge, come and find me. I await your challenge. They'll be needing your services here any longer. Mother is dead. <laughs> you talk with it. Don't you worry about it. There's always work to be had somewhere. You're a very kind man. Oh. I have two mothers. One who gave birth to me, and one who bound me. They were both snakes. And I am their daughter. But does that mean I too must slither as they did? Someday, I want to roam this land freely on my own two feet. Farewell. Dang, that was good. I think that sets up the uh, confrontation with Father a lot better than it would have been the other way around. We did almost all the things in Wellgrove. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> And that's the fifth. <laughs> okay, then. So let's see. Let's have a look around. Lots of leveling up is going to be in my future, that's for sure. Now, peak. <laughs> I mean, hey, we like what we like. 
So I guess that means then, um, I'm gonna try, if I can, work keeps me very busy, I'm gonna try to level up in between this stream and the next one, so, what kind of, alright, right now, the, the next two stream days are gonna be, I think it's, it's Saturday and Monday. So what day works better for everyone to continue this? Do I do this again next Monday, Monday or do I do it Saturday? Because I also then, I think, we might have a potential finale for Spirit Tracks the other day. I'm not 100% sure yet. But... The next stream will, d will probably, depending on how much leveling up I do, will probably be exclusively just Casty. And, uh... In, in Throne's chapter, the Father Root. So, uh, if we have to wait till next Monday. It's not the biggest deal in the world, bro. We have we have a conflict of interest over here. <laughs> we'll have to see what works out better. So those two, if assuming and depending on how much grinding I get, those two will probably be the only chapters we get to the next time I stream if I don't have enough time to, uh, time to level up. And then if I can, I guess if I can get high enough level, we might be able to do, uh, uh, what's uh, Agnias maybe. So, but that's like an if. If I get high enough level to do Agnes chapter, I'll probably lead off with it or or, or or in that stream or something because um let's be honest, I feel like Agnes chapters hold no hype and build up. On, I mean, I'll be honest with you. It's just like like it's fine, it's interesting, but it's just not not it's easily just the weakest part of the, of this of the of these of all stories. All my friends are overworked as I am. <laughs> People like the boss of, of Dagnia's Chapter 4. <laughs> Do you think it's mid? I guess, I mean, you know, everyone's got their tastes, again, so it's like... Uh, so that's like the plan. I'd also... Is that the only scent of commerce left? Is that one? That trading quest? Uh, that multi-quest? Dang, that's already almost done. The back Agnes stories and so <laughs> been nice. I mean, it's it's not a bad story in general because it's it's just a story. What make it's just because it's being compared to a completely different things that are executed so much better. It's not that Agnes story is bad or executed badly. It's just conceptually not as interesting as the other seven's stories themselves. I can try and do... If I stream on Monday, I can always just try and do the Monday stream at an earlier time, if Monday works better for both and can be done earlier. I'm going to swap into Particio for just a moment. Actually, I'm probably going to swap in the... Okay, so equipment real quick. I'm going to change this. Because I'm going to need that other ones I'm going to be grinding, so... So I'll put in the... Bro, Temenos got absolutely zero screen time today in terms of, like, getting anything done. But it's just the problem is he's doing Oswald's job as well, so he's not covering any niches I need him to cover. I don't know what other job would work well for Timos other than being a scholar. Captain Benchwarmer? <laughs> I mean, Agnia has had no, no, no spotlight today either, but that's just because, like, I don't know what to do with Agnia. She's just like a worse Primrose. It's like, Agnia has so little going for her, in my opinion, and her stats... Why she had a job, but I've been swapping out the jobs throughout the night, so I haven't had her in the party to put another one back on her. I don't know what I was having running her with before. 
Yeah, like Windy Refrain's not bad, but it's like her it's like her only good one. And I don't know, it's just like I I, ugh, I don't know. It's not as good as it used to be. Uh let's get revive for our boy here. I need to claim them. I don't want Bewildering Grace, but I need the things. That's a weird divine skill. That's why it's she, she's the wooden user team. Maybe, but it somehow feels so much worse than what Primrose did. Because, like, at least Primrose's, like, stats feel like they managed to be, like... At least the way the, the, the Primrose I ran, she was, like... A super good either black or white mage with her dancing skills and like she was just she hit solidly well Agnia feels like she doesn't really f fill any niche really like I can throw the dancing skills that she gets on anybody the only thing they don't get is a wind AoE but I'm finding other coverage for that it just kind of feels just, I don't know, it just... But, you know. That's the sad thing. It's a, it's a shame because, like, her voice actress... I, I mean, we, we love we love Marianne slash Haru in, in this house. Like, we do. But, like, bro, she... She, she's a well-executed character, but her character just doesn't really vibe with the other characters that much in terms of, like, the theming. It's like, sure, maybe you needed one lighthearted story to kind of help be a refresher between, like, all the other heavy stuff. But, like, even then, it's just the last two chapters of it were just, well, the, at least the last chapter was incredibly mid. Like, it was so, like, there wasn't even a single fight in it. Like, not saying it needs it. It can be lighthearted without being boring, right? Exactly. And so far, Agnias have been more on the boring side than the interesting side. They've like they've haven't been bad. They're just they're just they just feel subpar in comparison. Like like if you're gonna be lighthearted, I feel like you need to knock it out of the freaking part. The Gill chapter was actually good. That was like the I have liked that one. The rest have been mediocre. But I feel like the Gill chapter is definitely setting up probably for her finale, which could be good. I, uh, you know, because that that star is definitely kind of evil or just kind of like rude. But I don't know. I, I, there's a reason why I accidentally keep calling Agni a Tressa. There's a reason. <laughs> they they have such a similar vibe. It's like. I'll give that Agnia's story at least has more cohesion to it than Tressa's, but they were both just not very good. But I think Agnia's is better executed, it's just not as good. Like, it didn't... At least Tre and Tressa... Tressa's uh, story did have some more interesting things happen in it because of it. The chapters do kind of feel unrelated. I feel like, I mean, like... Uh, I don't know. It just feels like they are all... They still feel all related to to Agnia's goal, whereas Tress's chapters didn't truly feel like they were related to anything. It just felt like Tressa was going on a journey and these things happened during it. They didn't really feel... They didn't feel... You know what I mean? Like... I feel like Tressa was over here ha it's like everyone else felt like they were having is having actual an like say anime style stories and then freaking Tressa's got a slice of life story she's got going on that just happens to have fighting in it I don't know they're flawed like they 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 still kind of up they still kind of give a good like contrast to the rest of the stories for sure like they're not it's, not, it's not like oh they're awful get rid of them it's just they're they're underwhelming because <laughs> so far every other story so far has been really super engaging or engaging or knocking out of the park or whatever and agni is just 
is not hitting the spot it needs to hit. Country girl learns how to dance and make people happy. Like, it's it's not bad. It's 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 not bad. It's just not. Ugh. It's like it's so f confusing and frustrating. Like Agnia's presence and like the cut in the cutscene, like in the character interactions and in the fights and in stuff like that. Like Agnia brings a lot of more a lot of personality to it to the group as does Tr as did Tressa. It's their it's like their story is their weakest part of their appearance in the game. Like, like, because their their battle classes can be useful too. I just, even though I still think Agnia is a worse version of Primrose, whereas, uh, but uh, in contrast, that I feel like in s most ways, Tressa is a worse version uh, of Particio. So. I don't know. It's just it's flawed. It, it's it's flaw. The problem is, the its flaws stand out more because the flaws or problems with the other stories are more subtle and they're and they're just kind of really up to up to personal taste. But I think the other stories are just overall executed more interestingly. Like one could say, you could not be interested in Particio's like story because like like but like his still feels like. There's a goal toward it, and there is a quote-unquote evil to, to, to deal with. And again, the evil is poverty. It's, it's something that everyone can, probably most people can relate to and, and sympathize with the fact that everybody hates Jeff Bezos. And over here, but Particio over here is literally going to walk up at his front door and punch him in the face the way the rest of us wish we could live. So, like, Particio's got that going for him. Like... It's, it's, that's the thing, it's like, Particio's story conceptually does not seem like it should be that interesting, but it really is. Do I hate, oh, of course I hate Jeff Bezos, I hate that guy. So brave to put down Trump in the game and make him Particio's antagonist. See, that's what I mean, there's so, it's, Particio's really did have the potential to be a really mid-story, but it's just a combination of his character, how well he's executed as a person, and just how relatable in terms of real life the, the type of message and, sh and stuff that Particio's story goes on about. It just, it, it elevates it really high. Like, compared to the first game, the stories here of the second game are a lot better quality, and they are a lot harder uh, to really say, oh, like a like a definitive order of which ones are least and best least and most interesting because it's gonna come down to personal taste and Agnes is gonna be at the bottom. <laughs> but I think in some ways Agnes' story, uh, I don't know. It's hard to say. I haven't. I can't judge it fully because it's not done yet. But so I can't say for sure if Agnes' story overall is say better than anyone from Octopath One. Like, I want to, I think, like, and I'm mostly comparing it to Tressa. Let's be honest. Like, we're, we're going to mostly compare it to Tressa. Those two are, like, the comparisons. And, like, I think back and, like, Tressa's story is kind of not very interesting. And, but it has some interesting moments that happen. Like, with the, I think, Cap, Pirate Captain Leon. And then, like, uh, I guessed her relationship with that guy, Kai, and then, like, the revelation of she has G uh, Graham's diary or whatever, essentially, but those, like, those feel like cherry-picked moments out of a really mid-story, so it's like, so, and so far, while Agnia's story hasn't been interesting, aside from chapter three, it wasn't, it hasn't felt bad. Like, chapter one was okay. It was a fitting enough origin story. Chapter two was really good. I liked how that chapter two worked. And it chapter three it was such a nothing burger. Like, there were, like nothing really happened in, in it, really. She learned of this big festival thing that she had to prepare for. But the rest of that chapter just felt like pure filler. Which... It's, it's not bad to have filler, but, like, when you literally 
set aside a game like with that breaks itself down like this, and a whole chapter is devoted basically to just what feels like character filler, and you don't really feel like you learn or establish anything new. It just feels kind of like, eh, this could this felt like it could have been a side. This felt like a side quest that was voiced, is is what it kind of felt like. It just it felt disconnected from literally every other chapter so far, and then there's the and that and one might compare that to say Temenos's previous chapter here where I did last time, where there was no chapter boss, but there was a dungeon and there was lore to uncover, so there was at least some action in it. But Agnia's last chapter has absolutely no mandatory combat at all and no random encounters in its in its scenario either so it's like there like the revel rec recommendation is nothing means nothing so it's like you can have like no boss and you can have like a lower stake chapter and still make it feel like it establishes something the problem is Agnes that like Agnes chapter 3 so far has been the absolute worst chapter of this whole game it's been it was that bad to me and it's not the fact that it just was bad itself it was just that it was so terribly boring it, f f to be considered a chapter and that's the thing because i'm judging it based on it on a chapter standards not on its so much content or it's like eh, it was written nice it was fine it was cute but it felt like it didn't establish anything else it didn't feel like it to to be a main chapter of your character's story you would think even if nothing big happens it should be something big for the character and nothing changed about agnia's personality we just saw more of what we already knew what she was like so and the only thing of substance was basically an end goal for agnia that took till chapter three to establish an end goal and that's literally the only takeaway from that entire chapter you could have thrown that in somewhere in chapter two okay fine the only other other thing was that she got some lyrics for her song that she's gonna write uh with using what's his name's music which i guess th those are the two points the two points in that entire chapter but like outside of that it feels like it just does nothing else other than just feel like filler and it just that's it's ugh. Now, it's still, in that chapter, I can't say it's more interesting than anything that Tress has done. All of Tress's story is still more interesting than Agnia's chapter. Honestly, so far, the worst chapter in all of Octopath in full stop. Like, the entire two entries so far. That one was just the worst. Just because of how boring it was. It was just so boring. And, like, this is coming from someone who, when the characters are good and interesting, filler can be good and fun. It's just the fact that it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't portrayed as filler. It was portrayed as a main story chapter. Uh, honestly, no, I can say, of what I, of this whole game, it's the worst. And I don't think any chapter in Octopath 1 was worse than, was worse than uh, Agni, Agnia's chapter 3. I'm pretty sure so far, unless something else happens... Agnia's chapter 3 is literally the worst chapter of the franchise so far for me. It's just... It just feels like such a nothing burger, really. You get two pieces of story point rep, uh, thing, and that's it. And another thing that gets kind of compares to that, too, is the fact that, like, it feels like both... Both of, uh, Cassie's chapter 2s serve no purpose either, but the whole point is her story is she's trying to remember everything... So she's going to places where things that don't seem like they have much substance, and then, you know, she remembers things as it goes. Like, Casty's uh, other chapter that we did the other day, also, aside from a fight with uh, the, the hired thief, there was no combat in that chapter either. But it was still executed and, and, and done well for its story because you're not established... You, like, Casty is learning more about what she did for other people by learning how she affected them and whatnot. Because so, so if that chapter, despite the fact that there was, uh, there was hardly, uh, it was the Winter Bloom chapter two for Casty, the Winter Bloom route, and like it didn't, it established just enough information about like you know potentially. I don't know if it's gonna be relevant yet, but it probably will be. It established enough, and it was just. I don't know, it just... The evil, yes, the evil rich boy. That was that chapter. 
Like, even, like that one, like it only had one fight, and it, but it was a good fight, and it was it was a, it, it was relatively good stakes. It's just it's fun watching a healer roll up their sleeves, and it's like I'm a healer, but and then clock and uh, cocks the the axe. It's just you can have a low a low stakes chapter, and it, and and, it, and and still be interesting. And I think Casties did that really well because it was, you know. You're you're what you're wondering as much as she she did what she had done and what's gonna happen with the results of her of her healing work. You get then you get invested in the characters uh, pretty quickly. Whereas in Agnes chapter three, uh, the only thing in that chapter is the character interaction between uh, uh, Agnia and those four band of troops, and then it's like it didn't feel like an organic. Uh, like bonding of those characters, it felt like a speed ran PowerPoint version of Ag Agnia's uh, meeting and bonding of those four characters. It, 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 like, I was thinking that maybe the girl that kept saying "pro thank the goddess" or whatever, I was waiting for her to suddenly be a snake in the grass or something or something. They have given some kind of inkling that that chapter had something to give, and it just, it just. It was just Agnia dancing for a girl, probably awakening the lesbian spirit in her or something. And, yeah, it just... Uh, there was... It, it just... Uh, it was just so uninteresting. And that was just the crime of it. Oh, I've seen... <laughs> oh, no! Oh, Agnia. I was told that Agnia's next chapter will have a boss. I think it was from someone that stopped in the stream last time. You want to see Awakening the Lesbian Spirit? <laughs> oh, God. I can't even imagine what you're about to say. do her next chapter. Oh, God. <sighs> Goodness gracious. <laughs> All right. Well, I have work tomorrow, so I'm probably going to go ahead and wrap it up here. I have just been... It's a, it's a, It's been a fun game, though. Like... I'm just, I'm mostly harping on Agnia's story just because, for that one, that just that one chapter, really. It's just because it's, it's that, it's that one glaring flaw with something that's been otherwise extremely good. So it makes it look worse because there's nothing else really that same level of bad. Like, it's, it, it it's just, it's just what it is. So... Overall, I mean, it doesn't really hurt my impression of the game because still everything is is just so much more above the first game. It's like, the, it, like the first game is having a really hard time keeping up. Like, honestly, most of these characters are probably better than their Octopath 1 counterparts. Well, again, with the exception of Primrose. Primrose just rise, rises so much further above so many characters. And I have to... And honestly, when the game's over, I do want to rank both the, the each character's individual chapters against each other, and then rank the characters themselves against each other, and see which characters and chapters feel like they, uh, characters and stories, not chapters, characters and stories feel like how they compete against all 16 stories and characters. Because uh, I definitely want to, I want to, I want to kind of think on that. Like, cause if like so far, it feels like they just improved so much on the characters in this game that it feels like it makes the the first ca game's cast feel inadequate because just because of how much more over the, how much more they push the envelope with this entry, and it doesn't it, it just it, you know a game is a sequel is good when it actually makes the first game look worse in comparison. Like, I would feel like going back to play the first game would be harder now after having played this one because it's so much more ex well executed. But, like, at the same time, all their stories, even if some may or may not be more interesting for everyone than others, it's, it's subjective. It's a subjective thing. It's, like, it's all to taste. Like, they're all still really good. Like... You know, like, they all... They all o overall held, held up so well, and I still think... I still would think they're good, just be, even if, say, Octopath 2's whole stories 
push the envelope so much more comparatively to the ones that one did. Because one didn't have to, to try super hard. Except for Primrose's story. They just... Somehow they just popped off with Primrose so much. Having, like, a, a heroine, feminine, fatale done the way Primrose was? I don't know. For... For a protagonist type of character in an RPG, it felt like a breath of fresh air. And Throne 8 kind of does a similar vibe, but she just, in some ways, feels like a worse Primrose. In, in some ways. But, like, their, their stories their stories are entirely different. And they're, 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 it's just that their vibe and some elements of their personality are similar. But that's really about it. People can be like other people. But... Not this again. Also, even if I would say her as, as a worse Primrose, uh, like she's still a fantastic character in this game for sure. So, and her story has been very good. It's been very good. I think my favorite character in her story. Uh, like, and I like the fact that this game broke the 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 mold of having exclusively four chapters for each character by having certain characters have more to do. It just feels like they didn't limit themselves to the constraint of four chapters and allowed themselves to tell the story the way they want to. So, like, honestly, like, Agnia's ch chapter three would have made no sense to have a fight. Unless, of course, say, just say, for example, maybe some kind of thief or some nonsense wanted to make problems with that that band and then Agnia kind of steps up and be and bees a country girl type of man and just takes matters in her own hands even that probably while feeling out of place and unnecessary would have at least felt like it would have gave more gameplay to that chapter we just make a game for Particio <laughs> dude Particio got so many extra bits too with this commerce path Particio drop Dude, when I saw the reveal trailer and I saw the characters, bro, I really thought, I saw Particio, I'm just like, bro, what are they cooking? And I'm like, bro, they cooked, man. They were, they they had, it's like when you see someone putting some sus ingredients into a, a dish, but then when you get the dish cooked, it's like a five-star thing. You're like, oh, man, I should not have been mentally judging that in my head. That's how I feel about Particio. He peaked in chapter one and it paid off. I don't know, I just, I feel like... I feel like he's just, his ball just keeps rolling. Like, I felt like his chapter one started off kind of slow, but it had a lot go on in it. But, like, it slow isn't bad. It just, it, it took its time in chapter one to really set the stage for what Particio is about. And then it's just, like, you're riding that high. It just feels like, it doesn't feel like it's ebbing and flowing. It's just, like, it's just going well, and then the only quote-unquote low parts are his paths of commerce. It's just little extra bits that just feel like voiced side quests, which are great. Ugh, okay. I'm going to stop fan fanning about this game right now, because I'm not, probably, probably not going to play it again until Monday. So, I will see you guys Saturday for the, I think, for the, uh, for, well, I'll see you guys Saturday for, I think, the potential, potential finale of, uh, of, um, uh, of Zelda Spirit Tracks. I'm not sure. I have to, if I remember, I have to look up and see if there's anything else that I really need to do in that game, because I, I don't know if I'm going to 100% it. I don't, I don't know, man. <laughs> there's not a whole lot of game left so, on it, so I don't know. Maybe I should take a pause break on it and do a little bit of Platinum. I'm not sure. Part of me also just kind of wants to just, you know, wrap it up. Not that I don't want, just want it, want it to be over. I'm just like, I don't know if there's much more I can milk out of Spirit Tracks, is what I'm saying. It's like, I just don't know if there's enough content there outside of just freaking achievement hunting. And I just, I don't know if I want to do that with Spirit Tracks is all. It's like, I don't know if I want to sit there and really, really 100% it. Wait, in game? Dungeon? Wait, was there... Wait, what? So wait, is there is there an is there extra dungeons aside from the five and then the uh, the final segment with the demon train that whole long bit? Because I I don't ever remember hearing that there was other dungeons. I only remember the five dungeons and then the final. Oh. I didn't even know 
that. Oh man, if see, if there's a substantial amount of content to do, I would want to do it. I, I was not I clearly did not play Spirit Tracks enough as a kid to know that there was that much left. I don't know. I have to I have to do some research, I guess. So maybe what I might do on uh, on Saturday is maybe do something else. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll put it off. What we'll, we'll we'll see what happens on on Saturday I, or whatever. But anyway, I'm gonna actually leave now. Have a good night, everyone. I will see you guys Saturday for whatever the heck I decide we're gonna play. Have a good night, and uh, yeah, have a good one. Bye bye. Everybody.